So the left is now defending Joe Biden showering with his daughter. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, they defend this man at no cost. I mean, they, it doesn't matter what this man do. They're going to come out and cape for them. I've never seen anything like it before. This is wild. No one in their right mind defends this. A man should never be in the shower with his daughter. Um, and remember when we when this first came to light, um, and then we talking they were talking about um, Ashley Biden uh, or um, diary. At first they tried to pretend like it wasn't real, and now then and then she she admitted yes she did um, leave her uh, she did leave her um, diary at the um, at at her uh, rehab uh, facility that she was that she was um, attending at the time. And she did not dispute anything in that diary, so we know it's been un it hasn't been edited or edited or anything. Even though the people on the left is that's trying to uh, cape for Biden, try to try to say that it is. But we're gonna talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from uh, PJ Media from Matt Margolis. And he reports that some things you just have to see to believe because they're just that crazy. This week, we learned that the Department of Justice is seeking a harsher penalty for the person who reportedly stole the diary of Ashley Biden the daughter of Joe Biden. Prosecutors for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York said in a letter to a judge that Amy Harris has, quote, abused the administration of justice by repeatedly providing inadequate excuses to the court that have uh, caused her sentencing hearing to be rescheduled 12 times. They said the behavior warranted a harsher penalty. So <laughs> we got all these things going on around the country. Legal immigrants coming into this country, breaking the law, doing all types of other things, and they're worried about uh, uh, <laughs> worried about a freaking diary. Are, are you are you serious right now? This is our government. But Harris's uh, hearing has almost um has most recently been rescheduled for next week, and Judge Laura Swain has grown stricter stricter with the defendant warning last week that she could authorize a warrant for Harris's arrest. Should she fail to appear, Harris is waiting the sentence uh, for her efforts to sell the diary of the president's daughter ahead of the 2020 election. Of course, in light of this story, the infamous diary and its contents have once again become a topic of discussion. As you likely remember, Ashley wrote in her diary that her father used to uh, shower, used to take showers with her at a young age that were, quote, Probably not appropriate. I mean, I mean, you think you think it's a uh, hypersexualized at a young age. What is this? What is this due to? Was I molested? I think so. I can't remember specifics, but I do remember trauma. I remember not like uh, liking the Wuzak's uh, Wuzak's house. I remember somewhat being sexualized with Caroline. I remember having sex with friends at a young age. Showers with my dad, probably not appropriate, being turned on when I was, wasn't was supposed to be. That's what she wrote in her diary. And the diary also revealed that she thinks she may uh, have been molested but can't remember. Naturally, left-wing journalist Ed Krasistein uh, Kras uh, came roaring to Biden's defense this week regarding the story. Check it out. <laughs> this is what he tweeted. <laughs> Uh, Ashley Biden diary fact check. We don't know if the diary was unedited. Again, she never alluded to anything being edited in the diary. So you're just making this up. You're just saying, oh, maybe it was edited. We don't know it was. Well, we don't know if it was edited. She never said that it was edited. And then he said the diary doesn't accuse uh, Joe Biden of doing anything illegal to her. It merely says probably not appropriate referring to being in the same shower with him at um at an un unknown age like what like is but that that doesn't make it okay just because it's not illegal 
it's disgusting. It's weird. Why would that be okay? And why would anybody want a president that would shower with his young daughter? It's disgusting. Um, of course, what uh, Kraskenstein likely forgot is that Ashley Biden has confirmed the authenticity of the diary and so far has made no claims that anything was manipulated. But then he covers himself by saying essentially that even if Joe Biden did shower with his young daughter, this was completely normal. In what world? Where they do that at? Please tell me where they do that at. It's disgusting. I've never heard of anything like that. And I'm a therapist. I've never heard of anyone doing this as like a normal thing. But this was um, a point that didn't sit right with a lot of people for obvious reasons. But rather than concede the point, he made the following whopper of a claim. Um, so uh, Winnie Sculpture, he had tweeted out, why would Joe Biden shower with his with his daughter, no matter the age, is wrong. I'm a woman. I know how that's absolutely not okay, even though she's just one years old. So this is someone named uh, Winnie Scola said, and I agree. And he said, uh, there are plenty of fathers who have been in the same shower as their young daughters. Woo! I've never heard of this. And he said, virtually all pediatricians and child psychologists support it up until a certain age. No, they don't. No, that is not true. That is not true. As a mental health therapist, as a psych psychotherapist, I can tell you that is absolutely not true. No one recommends this. No one talks about showering with your child, especially opposite sexes. It's disgusting. Um, it's, I, I don't know where they get this from. Um, but the article goes on to say, do you know any fathers who shower with their young daughters? No, Like I said, absolutely not. Have you ever known a pediatrician or child psychologist who um, have ever given this uh, their stamp of approval. And uh, me, as a professional, I can say absolutely not. I've worked with tons of pediatricians. i work with tons of, of child psychologists. Never heard of this. This is not something that's that's um, that's that's even a thing. Where, where did he, he just arbitrarily makes this stuff up. He said, um, it goes on to say, I get that this is an election year, but how is it possible that Krasenstein could possibly make this argument is the left so desperate to defend Biden that they downplay blatantly predatory behavior? Apparently, that's where we are, out where we where we're at um, at right now. But that is where we're at. They're telling you they approve of this disgust these disgusting things. That's why it's okay. They think it's okay to mutilate children. That's why they think it's okay. Um, um, that's why they 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 think it's that they, they want to change. Um, 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 child abusers and say them to what it, um, they call it um, my, um, attracted person. What do they call minor attracted person or maps? They're trying to change all these terms and stuff like that because the left is accepting these things that's going on. They approve of these things that's going on with these children and it's wrong and it's disgusting and these people are coming out the woodworks and people like Ed Chris Krasasenstein is showing his true colors right here. It's disgusting. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJTheCycletherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.